guys are looking good. You guys gonna breathe for me or not? Before you move forward, please be advised that this video is going to contain adult language, adult jokes, and adult conversations. There will be words used such as sex, spawning, breeding, venting, and how to identify female and male fish. If at any point in this video you become offended, please turn off the video now and accept our most humble apologies. Now, without further ado, how to sex your male and female sickness. Wake up, wake up, wake up, all you sleepy heads! It is 96.9 Splash! That's right, get your dusty butt out of them beds, get in the shower, wash up, and do this last day of work because this weekend is the big fish deal and we want to see each and every one of you there. So get up, get in that shower, and let's go. 96.9 Splash guys we are back in today's video we are going to talk about sex. Yeah. that's right we're going to talk about how can you sex your fish male from female right oh, absolutely and there are several different ways you can actually do this and we're going to try to talk about as many that come to our mind while we're in this video so I have set up a project for me for this year, mm -hmm. which is going to be trying to breed my pike cichlids and also trying to breed these pretty guys behind us, these tiger albino Oscars. But, but. before we can do that, we got to figure out what's a male, what's a female. We got to look up in a skirt and see if a dude looks like a lady. So, let's talk about some of the different ways, easy ways, that mm -hmm. you can tell when it comes to all cichlids, if you have a male or a female, I would start with the African cichlids. So the Africans, you can tell by the males are the ones with the collar, the beautiful, bright eccentrics, unlike real life. <laughs> and it's the ladies who are more brown and dull colors. They don't get those brilliant colors that the males do. Absolutely, 100% correct. So when it comes to African Rift Lake cichlids, that where we're talking, that's what we're talking about. The males are always the much prettier one, they're always the larger ones, as she said. And also another tip is most of the African Rift Lake cichlids have what's called an X spot on their lo lower fin, mm -hmm. which they use to try to attract the female to pick up the uh, eggs because mm -hmm. they keep their eggs in their mouth, right? Yes, the female African cichlids are one of the only that keep them in their mouth until they spit them out. I hate spitters. <laughs> anyway, another way that you can tell if you have a pair or a male and a female is aggression. Now, I'm going to talk specifically about my pike cichlids. I had two pikes, actually I had three pikes that I got from Tom Galuli. Lost one of them, right. ended up with two. We put them in a community tank with some Oscars and some green tears. Everything was lovely. And then one day I come home from work and the entire group of cichlids, Green Terras, Os uh, Oscars, and Jack Dempsey's were in one little corner of the tank and these pike cichlids were just picking them off. Yeah. That, when you see aggression like that, that is a total sign that you have a pair that are ready to yep. spawn. They're dating, they're courting, they're ready to get it on. Yeah. So that's another way that you can tell if there is actually a male and a female in the tank when they start showing those spawning tendency right. which starts with aggression so third way is flipping up their skirts and checking out what's woo, woo, underneath woo, that is right that is called venting now the reason why you have to vent some cichlids is because of the thing called mono monomorphic and this is pertains to oscars especially they are exactly the same males and females they are monomorphic Mon and as she said monomorphic there's a lot of central and south american cichlids where the male and the female look pretty close to yeah. each other so again the only way to actually tell if you have a male and a female is to flip them over look under their dress or their underwear and see what you got <laughs> cooking down there so Check this video out. Liz is a pro at venting. She used to do it for a uh, I, fish online store that you had. Yep, we used to do it. And um, so if people wanted a pair specifically, or they wanted a group of females or a group of males, we would have to vent them to find out what we were doing. Right. Now, uh, caution. Before we go much further, I do want to tell you that venting can be can cause damage to the yes. fish. Anytime you take a fish out of water, put them in your hand, you are destroying their slime coat. 
uh, slime coat is the one defense system that uh, that fish have so you never want to damage that slime coat right. and I would only advise you vent fish under the most you know certain conditions where you got to know if you have a male yeah. and a female basically people that breed and professionals they do it right. but if you're just a regular hobbyist I wouldn't recommend doing this right. I would just let the fish mature and eventually you'll be able to tell if you have a male and yeah. female so if you have to do it get them out quickly you know no more than 30 seconds out of water and be very careful yeah and I will tell you this <laughs> you are going to destroy the mood of this pair once you pull them each out they are not going to want to pair up after they've gone through this traumatic yep. experience of being turned upside down where it's their dress pulled up so that we can tell what they are so don't think once you throw them back in the water everything's fine and they're going right. to go right back to spawn it again. No, you have destroyed that mood. So turn that Barry White music off and get ready to wait some weeks, maybe even some months before they have that uh, feeling of wanting to spawn that again. That loving feeling. That's right. So without further ado, we're going to go straight to the video of Liz and I venting two of our Oscars mm -hmm. and we will try to explain to you how we're doing it and what to look for. So we took the Oscars out of the tank and now I'm flipping them upside down so we can show you exactly how to vent them. All right, then what are you showing? It's a male. Based on these two markings, right this That's one a is a male. Hold on. The female should have a larger Based spot. Based on these two markings, this one is a female. So let's hurry up and get them back in the tank so they can resume their courtship. guys we are back so I hope you enjoyed that look at how to vent um, mm -hmm. it is something that a lot of people don't know uh, but certainly it's very helpful in times when you are trying to breed uh, your cichlids and want to know for sure especially like when you go to purchase a fish or you have that one male and you're looking for that female and you want to make sure you're getting that right yeah. female venting is probably the 100% way to find out exactly what you're getting and that is probably one of the most asked questions we get is how to tell if you're you have a male or a female yeah 96.9 splash Alright guys, we are back. So that basically gives you several different ways to figure out if you have a male or female right. cichlid. Uh, I'm really super excited about the projects that are coming up. Obviously we had to take this on first, how to identify if you have a male or female cichlid. Next we're going to talk about uh, tank size. I'm a big advocate of using a 40 gallon breeder tank. Right. I think you get the most success with those tanks because they have a nice length and a nice width. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. And in particular for the pikes that I have, which you're going to see in next week's video, mm -hmm. I have them in a 40 gallon breeder and I'm seeing some really positive signs that they are going to be doing some spawning soon. Pikelets, pike cichlids are one of the most difficult cichlids to yeah. spawn, yep. breed. I mean, not many people have done it in their home aquarium. It's, they're usually done by professionals. Absolutely. So this is going to be a really tough tough task but I'm up for it and I think if anyone can do it I, I, I'm gonna try and thank God Liz is with me to, to, <laughs> to see me through this and again Oscars are somewhat difficult as well mm -hmm. I have a great history of, of spawning a lot of right. different cichlids especially Central American cichlids you guys know I've done all the parachroma species which includes the Jaguar the Dovi the Red Tiger Moto and etc but I had a really hard time doing South American cichlids, which is exactly what the Pike and the Oscar is. So, you guys stay tuned. We have a lot of stuff coming to you. We're going to get back to our bread and butter, which is talking about keeping large monster cichlids as well as breeding them. I hope you guys stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. And we will be at the Big Fish Deal this Saturday. Please, guys, come out to see us. We will love to talk to you, sit down, chat it up, and take any questions yep. or we might ask you some questions that might help us out here so we hope to see you at the big fish deal it's going to be a great event lots of vendors yep. a great big auction a and it's ton only... of demos oh, so yeah. many things going on a ton of youtubers are going yep. to be there too and it's only 15 dollars to get in come on guys come out we want to see you thanks so much for watching leave comments below hit that subscribe button hit that like button and we will see you guys next week with a lot of footage about our pike cichlids and maybe some footage from the big fish deal talk to you later bye bye, -bye. that's one big fish the air of water that's one big fish my job is to make sure that hobbyists are educated yeah my beast yeah that's one